Today we're getting creative with Spark and creating a social media graphic using your school branding. Managing brand. Over to logos, we're going to load in the school logo. Be sure to load one that includes a white background and add a second one on a transparent background you can use to reverse out. Then load in your school fonts. If you can't find them on the list, you can add. My particular logo uses Arial and Garamond. You can certainly add colors into here, but if you've just uploaded your logo, Spark will include those colors into your project. Plus, to start a new project, going to make a graphic. Choosing which social media platform, I'm going to use Instagram, Advert, see more to have a look at some of the templates. Choosing which particular format suits your advert. I'm going to be advertising an art exhibition. I'm going to create this form to start with. Okay, now I have this template open. First thing I'm going to do is replace the image. So selecting the image, if you want to add your own image, you can go to add photo and upload your photo. I'm going to replace it with one from the library. Paintings on easels. To find something that matches my art gallery advert concept. Great. Selecting the text, double clicking on here. Let's type a heading to advertise my graphic. Might make that a little larger. Going to remove the 20%. Double click on this text. Let everybody know when the event is coming up. When I have that text selected, if I don't, I can click on type. I can also adjust the line spacing, bring that a little bit closer together. Or if you prefer, holding on to the anchors on the edge of the text box will also give me some options. I'm going to double click on this text and just let all my parents know they're all welcome. Bring all those elements down to the bottom. Okay, and deselect by clicking in the gray area over here. On my side palette, I'm looking for the menu button for design and it will bring up this little section here called Brandify. Clicking on there, everything I've loaded into my branding, my managing my branding, my logo, will come through and be applied to this particular graphic. If it doesn't bring in the logo that you've wanted, up to add, logo, you've got others that you've loaded into managing your branding, or if you want to upload another one, hit plus, I'm looking for my transparent version, which should work brilliantly in this particular graphic. Clicking on that logo, making it a little bit larger, hitting the ones that I don't want, and just clicking delete on the keyboard. This particular box here is made up of two different boxes, so I'm actually going to select the background one and remove it, just to simplify my design. Once I've got all my graphics arranged in a way that I'm happy, there's a shuffle over here, which will rotate the colors around, give me an idea of some other options. Choosing one that I'm happy with, I'm going to download a version for sharing online. I can choose a PNG or a JPEG. If I'm going to use it for myself and print out locally at school, I might choose a PDF. Going with a JPEG, hitting the download, and there's my graphic with my school branding, ready to share on social media. Hi everyone, thanks for watching.
Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development on the Adobe Education Exchange. And click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.